Hello everyone, and welcome back to a brand new video here on the Brugly channel. I am your host, Brugly, and in this video, I'm gonna be explaining Backrooms Level Pi, which is a crazy level, to say the least. This level is such a weird and trippy one, and it literally has this dreamscape, dreamcore vibe to it that I think you're really gonna enjoy. So, without any more blabbering on from me, let's get into the explanation, shall we? Backrooms Level Pi is classified as a Class 2E difficulty and is pretty unsafe with non-entity hazards. So you're not going to have to worry about a wretch chasing you, you're going to have to worry about the level hurting you. That's all you need to know. Level Pi is actually a sub-level that is thought to exist between levels 3 and level 4. The level's physical appearance is pretty unique to all the other levels that I've gone over. It looks like this bright, bold expanse of hills. The grass, the sky, the clouds, all of it is set to the highest saturation possible, which just means that all of the colors are literally as bold as they can physically be. The hills here are so round in some spots that it's impossible to climb up them, so they're kind of just like spheres sticking out of the ground. And also some of the hills are coming out of the ground at such unnatural ways, or they're slanted in really strange angles, that it doesn't even like make any comprehensible sense to your brain. You literally cannot even fathom it. It all just adds to how trippy the level is. The hills and slopes almost act like ocean waves, but instead of water, it's grass. There are also freshly paved asphalt roads that wind around the hills as well, and these roads curve and follow them, all the slopes and turns and everything. Even the ones that don't make any sense, there's still roads going up them. But some of the roads seem to randomly end or curve and then just stop which is pretty strange. So pretty much the hills and the roads are so curvy and windy and wavy that it would be hard for your brain to even understand what you're looking at. Not to mention how bright and saturated everything is. The most common thing on this level besides those hills and roads are the multicolored gas stations. And these are placed on really strange locations. In fact, it doesn't even seem possible to have buildings where these are. But hey, that's the backrooms for you. They're put on direct hillsides on top of hills, on the sides of hills, in the valleys, literally anywhere. Even if it doesn't even seem possible for a building to exist, they're gonna be there. The one constant with these gas stations is that they'll always be near a road to some degree. Now inside of the gas stations, there is legitimately no sign of any human life. But each of them is perfectly bright and clean and spotless. There are things on the shelves too, but they never move and you can't move them. It's almost like they're stuck in time. The actual brands of the gas stations that are here on the level do not exist in real life. Like it's a completely new random brand that no one has ever seen before. Which almost makes it creepier in my opinion. The names and logos are just out of the world, like they've never been seen before. However, even after all that, I think that the weirdest thing on this level is that sometimes a random fog will appear and start to roll over the hills. This fog kind of hovers and slithers its way around the hills, and when it gets near you, you can see that the saturation of the level gets lower, kind of like it lessens the color's vibrancy. And the area near this fog gets really pixely when it passes by, almost like the level has a low resolution when the fog is there, or something like that. Pretty spooky. This misty fog is the biggest environmental danger of the level because it's toxic to breathe in. Like, bad toxic. You can avoid the mist by trying to get inside a gas station, but if you don't, well, you know what happens. There are no outposts here, but there was rumored to be a few, however no one knows if there actually was, or if the outpost just vanished somehow, or who knows what happened to them. There are also no entities, and to enter this level, you can find a door in level 51 that opens to show you this place. Now this door is random, so you're gonna have to open a ton of different ones to find it, but hey, be my guest. And to exit, there isn't one set in stone yet. Most people just randomly get sent away, kind of like the level chooses who stays and goes. So if you do get here, uh, you're stuck. Have fun! <laughs> 
So yeah, that was the explanation of the backrooms level pie. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching until the end of the video. You're a real one. Now, if you are still watching, comment down below pie brugly so I can leave you a heart as a thank you for watching to the end. Thank you all for your insane support on all my channels, Brugly, Toogly, and Spoogly. I really appreciate it. Brugly is nearing 500,000 subscribers. And if you want to help me get there, drop a sub. It's free. And at 500,000, I am buying the full Backrooms themed outfit. The shirt, the pants, the hat, the socks. All of it has the level zero wallpaper design on it. And I'm going to be wearing that outfit in public, doing videos in it, a photo shoot, that kind of stuff. If you want to see that, it's happening at 500 thousand also my second channel Toogly, just hit 30,000 so thank you for that I'm uploading on Toogly literally three to four times a week on top of Brugly uploads and it's reactions gaming tier list videos all that kind of jazz if you want to see more of me and more of a relaxed tone go check out over there I think you're gonna enjoy it for real lastly go check out my third channel Spoogly I upload one to two times a week on there where I do SCPs Trevor Henderson creatures and real life UFO or alien encounters or conspiracy theories Series, that kind of stuff. It's a lot of fun, really cryptic kind of stuff over there. If you're into the back rooms, then you're really going to like that stuff too. So yeah, enough self-promoting. Thank you for everything. Seriously, I love you all. Thank you so much, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.